Good morning. My name is Rabbi Brant Rosen. I'm the Midwest Regional Director for the American Friends Service Committee. And we are so grateful to all of you for coming out this morning. Uh, we're particularly grateful uh, to members of Congress, uh, staff people, but members of Congress for coming to learn about this critically important moral issue. And it is one that we <coughs> believe receives far too little attention in the media here on Capitol Hill and in the public discourse at large. So we, we truly value your presence here in learning about this issue, and it's our hope that we can go forth and be advocates of this issue. I'd like to particularly thank Representative Ellison and Representative McCollum for your leadership and for making this important briefing possible and helping to shine a light on Israel's practice of military detention, imprisonment of Palestinian children. As a member and leader in the faith community, I do believe it is our religious obligation to shine a light into the dark corners of our world. And on this issue, we have been discussing this morning, it is an issue that has been allowed to languish in the shadows for far too long. Those of us who consider ourselves to be people of faith would certainly agree that the commandments to protect the lives of our children are among the most sacred in our religious traditions. On this International Day for the Protection of Children, it is altogether appropriate that we bear witness to Israel's practice of military detention and imprisonment and ill treatment of Palestinian children, and to reckon honestly with our continuing culpability in enabling this practice. And so as our briefing comes to a close, we have three very specific requests that we would like to present to uh, members of Congress today. First, if you are a member of Congress or part of uh, their staff, uh, could you please raise your hands? We would love to know how many of you are here today. So thank you for being here, first of all. We would like to urge you to sign on to a congressional letter, as Jennifer mentioned before that has been initiated by Representative McCollum. And could I ask uh, the representatives from uh, Congresswoman McCollum's office to please raise your hands? Staff people? <laughs> well, we particularly thank her for uh, spearheading this letter, uh, which asks the State Department to raise the issue with Israel's government. You can find copies of the letter on the table just outside of this room. And we ask that you join the sign-on letter by contacting Representative McCollum's office directly, and we need signatures by June 10th. Second, we urge you to seek assurances from the White House, from the Department of State, and from the Defense Department that USAID does not include funding for Israeli Army detention of children. Quite simply, we as American citizens do not want to continue to enable these practices. And finally, if you are planning to travel to the region in the near future, we strongly urge you to please add a visit to Israeli military courts, meet with children's rights advocates to learn what is actually happening on the ground. Please go and see for yourselves. <clears throat> see what this practice is doing to the lives and to the futures of Palestinian children, to their families, to their communities. See how this practice is affecting the lives and futures of all who live in the land. We believe that the widespread and systematic ill treatment of Palestinian children by Israeli forces in their military detention system warrants a U.S. government response. As a result of what you have seen and heard here today, we hope that you do too. Again, we are grateful for you, to you for attending our briefing. We look forward to engaging with you on this critical issue together in the future. Thank you.